in this bitch. Let's talk about it. people it's your boy boss tax in this bitch you already know you already know existing subscribers what's going on new subscribers welcome you guys are fucked up around here the review is broken up into three parts number one i talk a little bit about the movie spoiler free give you my opinions on this bitch part two balls deep in the transfer yeah we're talking balls deep just the balls hanging out not even the balls hanging out we're going balls deep whatever it is as deep as a motherfucker and part three i'll give you my final thoughts on this bitch yeah Let's talk about it. The Bible, Moses, Ramses, their relationship, their falling out, betrayal, and Ridley Scott at the helm. This is a story based on Moses defying the Pharaoh Ramses, Moses Christian Bell, basically escaping Egypt with 400,000 slaves. Chances are you probably know what this movie's about. It's supposed to have Egyptians in it. We're the motherfucking Egyptians. All white guys. Not that there's an issue, but, you know, it's one of those things. Look, Ridley Scott is an amazing director. I don't know how I feel about this movie. This movie itself is awesome in parts. Battle at the beginning is spectacular, right? And the, the ending is also spectacular. This movie is very well shot. The action is very good. Ben Kingsley and Christian Bell were awesome. Everyone else, I don't know, uh, the casting was wrong. Sigourney Weaver was in this. She's hardly in this bitch, which is a shame because it was nice to see her paired up against Ridley Scott again. That being said, some of the other casting choices were a bit strange to me. I'll just leave that there. You know what I mean? When you watch the movie, you're like, why did they pick him for that? Why did they pick him for that? You know, and because of that, I couldn't take the movie as seriously as I wanted to. I think the biggest problem I have with this movie is that the setup at the beginning was awesome and the ending was awesome, but everything in between was slow as fuck to me. You know, you get you get Moses who's like, he's, you know, it's about his personal life and, you know, he meets a woman. And I was just looking at the watch like, hmm, shit dragging on a bit too much. A bit slow for my liking, but... Christian Bell's performance is really good. The best bit about the movie is Moses' interaction with Ramses. And I wanted to see more of that, more of the conflict. You know, it's like they set it up, left it alone, came back to it. Do you know what I mean? It felt like there was a lot of filler in there. So personally, not one of my favourites, but worth a watch, absolutely. If not for the special effects, the acting is top notch. It's okay. If you were picking up a 4K HDR TV circa 2015, then this is one of the movies which would have been on the demos. Right now, I'm gonna tell you why. Shot in 5K in this bitch. Visual effects rendered at 2K. Digital intermediate, 2K. Upscale to 4K. DTS HD Master Audio 7.1. This is a beautiful transfer. Reference quality transfer. This is a beautiful transfer from start to finish. God damn. This one blew me the fuck away. And it's obvious to tell why. The HDR. Let's talk about the detail first in this bitch. Night and day. The sharpness, the detail, the jewellery, the environments, the sea, armour, everything just stands out. It really is super sharp, super clear, super detailed. From minute one to minute 144. Super sharp. The wider colour space is also extremely noticeable. You notice from the very offset that the colours are just wider, there is more nuances in the colour, more detail, just a wider space in this bitch. That coupled with the detail equals my next bit, which is the depth of field. It's everything's got a nice three-dimensional look in this bitch. There are layers upon layers upon layers. Yeah, you see at the end when you see Moses go running towards Ramses, yeah, and you see the sea behind, you can see the depth you can see where everyone's positioned because of the crystal clarity and the HDR. There's a battle at the opening scene. You see the, the light reflecting off the armor. It looks, it glows in this bitch. Black levels are also very good, very detailed, nice and inky. You can make out everything. There are bits in there which are CGI, but it's not very noticeable. I didn't see any CGI which stuck out like a sore thumb. Nice, vibrant image. Skin tones and everything are very natural, but you see wrinkles, you see things you just didn't see in the 1080p. 1080p can't handle this shit. It's 
obvious this is one you're going to want to show off to people it's that good and it's pretty much the reason you got 4k in the first place brass tax seal of approval that's all i gotta say about that How I feel about the movie, I feel it's slow, right? But I think it has some great parts. Now, there's other people out there who really love the movie. There's other people out there who really hate the movie. So it's a mixed bag. Chances are, if you like the director, if you like, if you're a fan of Christian Bale, then by all means, pick this up. And right now, it's going to be cheaper anyway, because it was one of the first wave of titles released. A beautiful introduction to 4K and still holds up very well against some of the newer 4K titles, 100%. If you can get it cheap, I definitely recommend it. For 4K, unquestionably I recommend it. As a movie, I'd probably rent it, but like I said, if it's cheap, pick it up. Anyway guys, that's pretty much it on this review. Hit the like button if you liked the video. Definitely comment, give me your thoughts on this movie. I know there's a couple of you who really did like this movie and didn't appreciate my thoughts on the movie previously. So, you know, just comment and let's debate this bitch. But in any case, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and I will catch you guys soon.